Hello my loves, welcome back. Today I'm coming to you guys with another haul video because those are the things that I do a lot of. <laughs> so I just got, the mailman just rang the bell. I was filming my Ipsy bag on bagging or whatever and the mailman came and brought me a package. So, <gasps> yay me. I got a new mic in the mail, I'm so excited. Yes, it looks like, yeah, mm -hmm. we know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Dirty girls. Anyway, the first thing I got, I got in the mail today as well, and I already did a review slash demo on it, so you will be probably seeing that around the same time that you see this um, haul, neither here nor there. I'll leave the link down below to the video. And I got from QVC the It Cosmetics New Year Your Most Beautiful Skin 5-Piece Collection, and it comes with a brush, which is awesome. It comes with the CC Cream. It comes with the Airbrush Perfecting Powder, which is like a medium to full coverage thingamajigger. It comes with the CC Cream. Um, these are all in the shade Medium. And it also comes with the lipstick, the CC Blurred Lines lipstick in the color Love. I want to say Love. Yep. And the brush. So you pretty much pay for the brush an additional like 10 bucks, and you get all of this. So you can find this at QVC, and I'll leave the link to that down below. I'm not going to get too much into this because I do have a review and demo on it. So, yes, it's pretty much like my first impressions, but I'm loving it. I have it on today. Do you see this glow? Yes. So, along with that, I had gone to Ulta.com's website, and this was in late December, so I never got to haul this. So, I ended up picking up the It Cosmetics CC Your Skin But Better CC Color Coverage Full Cream. And it does come in the compact version, and in that video, you will see me using the compact version. I was going to use this, and I have been using this, and this is amazing i didn't think i was gonna like it because i saw so many re mixed reviews but i was like 20 percent off why not so i also picked up oh, my first ever becca cosmetics and this is the shimmering skin perfector and this one is in can you guess in rose gold oh i have it on today i love this this is like oh it's gorgeous i really want to collect all of them I know that's not wrong that's a makeup addicts problem but this is just gorgeous a little goes a long way I tap my brush on it I take it to the tops of my cheeks to the center of my nose to my cupid's bow and I'm a happy girl okay I even take it for underneath the brow and I think it's just beautiful I love the packaging it looks like a little flying saucer and I want to collect them all because I think they're all beautiful and it's good quality and it's gonna last me a very 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 long time so Yes. So I ended up going to beautylish.com and picking up the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic, Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher. Don't mind the buzzing, my boos are messaging me. And it is gorgeous. It is like a light peachy pink. Um, so it has a shimmer around and then you just pop it. You pretty much just swirl your brush around the shimmery part and then you just pop it in the center and it gives you this really beautiful rosy peachy glow it is like the perfect combination of pink and peach so I love this this is in the color first love which is probably one of their more popular shades and I think for a good reason because it is like the perfect neutral in between blush this is like a must-have blush so if you're looking to get your first one get first love because everyone remembers their first love <laughs> That was corny. Next things I picked up, you guys have seen on my Instagram and probably have seen me use it in my previous videos. And Nicole Guerrera is a fellow YouTuber or a YouTuber. She's way more up there than I will ever be. And she created her own skin line. So she came out with two new products. So she came out with the Best Damn Beauty Facial Spray, which I absolutely love. It smells like roses. And she came out with the Best Damn Beauty Oil, which I like. It comes with the dropper. It has... I don't know, I can't pinpoint the scent of it. It's a lot thinner than my Sonia Kashuk um, facial serum or facial oil. So this is a lot more thinner, a little bit goes a long way. Like I use it on that dry patch I have here and like on the center of my face, oh, one drop. One drop is more than I need. I even use it on my Kat Von D foundations and all my full coverage stuff. Not even one drop because this is a little goes a long way. This bottle is going to last me for a very long time. So the investment is there. So I'm sure you guys have seen Anastasia Beverly Hills just released um, some liquid lipstick lines. And don't judge me. Don't judge me. 
I picked up eight out of the 19. I think there's a 20th shade, but it might be coming out later in the year. I have one on my lips today. I'll let you guys know what shade that is. So let's get to swatching. So the first color I got is probably the most popular, and it is Pure Hollywood. They have another color called Milkshake, but this one is the lightest I would do. And it is a pinky nude nude. These are some messy swatches. That's what they're going to be. But it's gorgeous. I've tried it on. Isn't that it beautiful? It's very pale for my skin, but I always wear a lip liner with my matte lipsticks, always. So the next color I have on my lips, and it's called the shade Lovely. I'm sure this is also going to be another popular shade. It is just a really pretty muted pink compared to all the other colors they have. And I'll swatch it for you. It'll look way different swatched than it does on my lips because it's not dried yet. So that's it right there. On my lips it looks a little different not so different it just looks dry <laughs> so this is like a perfect pink i have it on my lips it's kind of vibrant but it's not really i don't know it's just really pretty it's very lovely so i love the name for it next color i got is not a color that i would normally wear and it's called party pink now this color i decided that I was going to make sure I wear a dark lip liner under it because it's just too vibrant for me. But all these make my teeth look white, so that's a good thing. This is like holy cow, Barbie went into a rave and came out like bam. It's a lot brighter right here in person than it is on the viewfinder. But I'm sure you guys can see a little bit of fluorescence to it when I put it onto the side like that. So yeah, yeah pretty vibrant I, I posted a picture of it with my daughter wearing one of the colors of course hers look better um but I was wearing that and I was only wearing one coat it is a little blotchy in a sense you might want to have to go over it before it starts drying just go over it with the same wand you don't have to redip it which is a good thing about these liquid lipsticks but you might want to go over it so you get more of a more of a fluid look i don't know if that makes sense next color i got is retro coral and that's another vibrant vibrant color love it though and this i would definitely wear with like a maybe like a nude lip liner or even like a darker pink lip liner this is beautiful though and it is perfect for the summertime and that's it right there and as i angle it down you can see hopefully the vibrancy of it and how fluorescent it really really is because these are fluorescent these two highlighters but i think they're beautiful they might even be great mixed together so loving that so the next color i got is probably going to be one of my absolute favorites and this should be a very very popular shade and as you can see in the tube it looks very beautiful and the color is karina this is like a perfect reddish i'm going to swatch it up top here it's like a reddish pinkish coral it is perfection the swatches are like very very creamy <laughs> so that's it right there it is like a perfect pink coral it's vibrant just the same but a lot more richer it does not leave any streakiness when I apply it I think it looks beautiful the next color I got was vintage which my daughter was wearing in the Instagram pic that I took this is gorgeous Oh my god, I wore it to work. I got so many compliments on it. It was ridiculous. I love purple lips, but this was just like perfection. It darkens up a little bit when you put it on your lips. Once it starts drying into a matte, it just darkens up a smidge. But look at that. That's beauty. That's beauty. The next color I got was American Doll. And you guys know I would not buy something without getting a red from it if I had a chance so I thought this was going to be more on the orangey side not at all I'm going to go ahead and swatch it under all the other swatches this is the perfect American doll or American red this is like Marilyn Monroe red um the name suits it it's gorgeous it is just a red it has a little bit of a blue tinge to it on the tube it looks more reddish orangey but when you swatch it it's like a perfect perfect red so the last color i got last but not least because you know i'm gonna keep collecting this i got sad girl and oh this color oh this color i saw and i was like oh i want a vampy color i want to get vintage was the first one pure hollywood was the second one and then i went back to the darks and i got this one and i was like in love and then i saw something that 
kind of shocked me. This color has some red flecks, red and gold flecks of glitter throughout the tube. You can see like a whole bunch of red, golden, purpley glitters. Very, very faint. And this is the lip color right here. And as I'm like moving it around, hopefully you guys can see a little bit of dimension. It is gorgeous. It dries matte. You can see that kind of like when you put highlight, you can kind of see that on the lips. Oh my god. Oh, it's just amazing. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for my haul. I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.